y'all today's video is a q a so i hope you're excited to learn some stuff about me okay let's go i tweeted on youtube whatever it's called uh by the way i can't wait until they give me freaking um youtube stories you have to get to 10k so if you're not subscribed subscribe but i really want to be able to youtube story anyway so we have 22 comments so uh let's start how old are you 23 um what do you want to do with your life okay so this is what i want i want to like i would like to grow my youtube channel so it could fund my real like my over like, the bigger dream you know what i mean like i really do like doing youtube and stuff and i would continue regardless if i was rich or not but um yeah i would like it to fund my empire basically so this is like they say to be a millionaire you have to have seven incomes one income right here and hopefully it will grow and become like a better income but um I would like to invest in real estate um have like a, I have an online store if you didn't know um I would like that to grow and then maybe like have like different businesses like if I would if I had a bunch of money and it was like a, a local cafe for sale I would like to buy it and run like a cafe I don't know about a cafe, but maybe like a restaurant or something. Oh, there's one I would really love to own a nail salon. I know I don't have my nails right now, but that's because I'm broke right now. Yeah, like I want to be like a millionaire and an entrepreneur and own a bunch of businesses and have real estate. And yeah, that's all for now. But I have big, big dreams for myself. Um, someone asked, how do I stay positive? Any tips for self-confidence? I filmed the video yesterday, so if you want to go know more about that, you know what to do. Okay. Uh, do you plan on moving out soon? Uh, probably not soon, but it is, like, in my plans, obviously. Uh, as soon as I can afford to be, like you know be able to pay my car payments and get my nails done and pay my rent what's something you love about canada what do i love about canada i definitely don't love the winter uh that our president is not donald trump well i know we don't have a president we have a prime minister have you ever had to deal with bullying um i don't think so like was it like people used to no, well not people but there was like always a few times i would hear people like whisper about me i don't really think that it was bullying i think it was just like people talking bad about me because i was never like so bullied that i never wanted to go to school or didn't want to do stuff you know what i mean where do you see yourself in five years um hopefully living on my own <laughs> um with a successful business maybe even till um, at least 500,000 roses. But, um, hopefully YouTube's still around. I hope so. Okay, um, do you want kids? If so, how many? I think I, like, I would like to have kids. But I also think about it, like, sometimes, okay, like, I'm broke right now, right? Say if I, like, want to travel and stuff and I finally get rich, let's, like, not even rich, but, like, financially stable in like a year or two then i'm like 25 and then i start to travel and do the stuff i could the stuff i couldn't afford to do when i was like this age and then after like time goes by and then boom i'm 30 and i'm ready to like maybe i'm obsessed with traveling i don't even want to stop you know so i wouldn't mind having kids but i don't know like if i don't i don't think i'll be the most upset but that could change in the future. But if I do have kids, I do want a boy. Was that a question? Oh, yeah, you said how many. Um, I would like a boy. But I think, like, two. But I wouldn't mind having only one. But I want a boy. I want to name him after my grandfather. 
Um, what's a thing you like and don't like about where you live? But one thing I like about where I live... Um... This is awkward. Maybe I can say like um, when in the winter I like to walk in like the forest because like in the winter there's not bugs, you know. In the summer I don't even go in there. <laughs> but um, I like the nature. Um, what was the? And what I don't like. I don't like that um, it's not very diverse. I would like to, you know not be the only brown person at my beach i guess oh and also i hate that it's like a small town and everybody knows everybody are you afraid you will never uh, you will ever need school in the future for example to find a good job no because i don't see myself working for someone else like i just don't see it happening i feel like i'll just like create my own good job and i will be the boss and yeah, I don't need a diploma to be my own boss. Can I get a shout out? Yes, shout out to Nancy um, Franco. Okay, um, do you plan on getting more tattoos? Yes. Just like, you know, when I'm not broke. Who's your YouTube crush? YouTube crush. I'm gonna be honest, it used to be David Dobrik. He's still my favorite YouTuber though. But um, I don't think I have a YouTube crush right now. Comment yours so I can maybe steal yours. How much money would it take for you not to know how to read? I was freaking thinking about this when I saw your comment. I was like, I don't know, like... Reading is like a big part of like life, you know? I feel like I might do it for like in the millions. But then I'm like, that might not like align with my life, you know? Because a million dollars, once you spend a dollar, you're no longer a millionaire, you know what I mean? And then you have to make money, but then I have to, like, sign contracts and, like, you know, be a boss. And if I can't read, like, can I do it? I know there is people who, like, don't know how to read and still successful. But I just feel like it's harder, you know? So maybe, um, so maybe I'll just, like, stick without taking the money and just make my own money because I'm an independent woman. But give me, like, five million and I'll think about it. <laughs> what are your hobbies um okay so i like to read oh my god so i can't you know what 10 million and i'll think about it uh i always freaking like i i don't know how to explain it i will like a love-hate relationship with reading i love it when i started and then i like don't pick up my book for a while and i'll say i'll read it later because i'm always on my phone like I think my phone distracts me from reading, but then after I'll pick up my book and I'll love it again. But anyways, I consider it a hobby. Um, I recently wanted to start learning the piano. Is that weird? Like just like a little one, I want to like just learn. Um, what else? I don't know. I like doing stuff though. Like I want to learn how to knit, but I know that takes like a lot of work. How is your business doing? If you don't know, I opened my store. This is actually one of my shirts. By the way, this was like, um, the design is bigger on the bigger shirts. Mine is small, but I didn't feel like throwing it out because like, or not wearing it because it's still good. But I think now they're like about this big. Anyway, so yeah, this is one of my shirts. And, um, honestly, like I'm being honest, it could be doing way better. But, um, as long as I don't give up and we make stuff happen. Okay, if you could only listen to one artist slash band for the rest of your life, who would it be? One artist. Maybe Drake. You know, he does, like, all types of music. So, maybe Drake. What are your top three favorite TV shows? Um, Queen of the South. Oh, The 100. Love that show. I can't believe it's the last season. Season 7 is going to be the last one if you watch The 100. I know I'm upset too. Uh, all my favorite shows, they've been canceling. Like, I'm not cool with that. Okay, so I'm going to finish answering her questions. And I'm going to keep the rest for next video because I'm... F 
I'm doing a video every day for the next 160 days. Well, I think it's like 58 now, 158. I might need like a last minute video idea and I could just finish this one, you know? So yeah, if you want to add to it, just go on my channel. Then you slide to like the community tab. You'll see one that says, I'm going to film a Q&A. Drop your questions, drop them there, and I'll answer them next video. Okay, um, describe your ideal date. Okay, my ideal date... I don't like want something too fancy I also like was thinking if someone ever proposed to me I wouldn't want it in public I don't like to be like too much of the center of attention you know what I'm saying anyways um my ideal date maybe like I don't even know like all I'm thinking about is like movies and shit and I don't know like I have no idea. Maybe I'm thinking of stuff I like. I'm not really a well, you know what? A nice restaurant is cute, but then I would have to wear nice clothes, like really fancy clothes. And I've never wore like really fancy clothes. You know, like a nice dress maybe. And like I'm 5'9, like sh would I wear heels? Like do you wear heels? I'm going to be hella tall. I don't even know if I could walk on heels. Maybe like the heels with the little thing I would wear. Okay, I don't know. Maybe, um, I don't know. I want to do something fun. I don't want to be like, have to act all pretty and, you know, cute all day. You know what I'm saying? Like at the restaurant, like cutting. No, I'd rather go to the like, maybe like a gun range or something fun. I don't know. Going out to a fancy restaurant, I, like it doesn't really like bring fun, you know? Yeah, we ate good. Okay. By the way. I want to freaking go eat lobster like I keep seeing people wear these like gloves and eat lobster like I'm like can I do that too can I have friends who want to do that with me so yeah I really don't know what my ideal date is I know the titles like what's my ideal date but I have no idea anyway so that's all for today I hope you like this video subscribe to my channel if you don't already and I'll see you tomorrow bye